Hi, I'm Rich Boren with Cruzaro Water and Technotics, and we're continuing with the review of the various modules for the Cruzaro water maker. In this video, we're going to look at what we call the valving and, and cleaning assembly, which is module four. So first, let's review what this does. Then we'll talk about where it can be mounted on the boat and your mounting considerations. And then we'll talk about how it actually functions as well. So all water makers need to be fresh water flushed when they're not in use. So this is an activated carbon filter that lets you pull fresh water out of your water tank and flushes the system out so that that way the bacteria and biological life that are living in the unit doesn't die rot and start giving you that hydrogen sulfide smell. So an activated carbon filter is very important in a water maker. So if you have a water maker that doesn't come with one or if it's being sold as an option, I would definitely install one or get that option if it's an option. I think it's just an integral part of a good water maker from a maintenance standpoint. So it's included with the Cruise RO unit. So in terms of where this goes inside the flow path, this is going to be on the low pressure suction side of your boost pump system. So your boost pump is going to go from the through hole through a wall water strainer into the valves and then the valving is going down to the boost pump. So one common misconception during the install process is that these valving assembly is on the suction side of your boost pump. So the boost pump is pulling through these valves. What that does, and the boost pump goes on this branch here. So what that does is it puts suction here on this lower three-way valve, which then lets this top three-way valve be a selector valve. In this position, this goes to your through hole. So you're pulling in seawater. Let me turn this valve up because normal this bottom valve would be in the up position so the suction is then directed up in the position of the handle. So in this position you're pulling in seawater from the through hole. In this position with the handle pointing towards the activated carbon filter you're pulling in fresh water from your ship's tank. Now you can connect this directly to your ship's water tank or more commonly people tee in to their pressurized galley water and have their ship's boost pump push into our system. The advantage of that is that it's probably easier. It's easier to tap in with a T on your pressurized galley system to supply fresh water flushing water to the water maker. The negative of that is that you'll need to always have your pressurized ship system water tank uh, pressure pump on when you're doing a fresh water flush and if you're purchasing the automatic fresh water flush that means when you leave the boat you'll have to have your water pressure system on that's not a problem for me but some people don't like leaving things on when they leave the boat so that's something to consider so in terms of operation this top three-way valve, when it's pointed straight out at you, it's in the off position. You're selecting from neither of the two positions. When it's pointing towards the activated carbon filter, you're pulling in fresh water for a fresh water flush. In this position is kind of what I consider normal operating condition. The valve handle is pointing to this fitting. This fitting will go down to your through hole to pull in seawater from your through hole with a raw water strainer in front of that. So by using these two three uh, gray valves, these two three-way valves, you're able to have three different options. Uh, Seawater, fresh water flush, or with this bottom three-way gray valve turned down, now the boost pump is sucking and instead of sucking up and making this your decision tree, it's sucking down out of this bottom port. So this is where your pickling hose will go in, a little stub of the green hose that you push in, you fill your five gallon bucket and pull that into the water maker. So this lets you fresh water flush, normal operation with this valve in the bottom position, you're now pickling, you're pulling the water in this port out of your five gallon bucket. 
Now, when you are pickling, it doesn't matter where this top valve is because it has nothing to do with the pickling process. The suction's coming from here and going straight down into your five gallon bucket. So, where do you mount this on the boat? You know, with most of these pieces, it's anywhere uh, that you can make it fit and not give up a bunch of prime real estate. But you do have some considerations. One of the most common problems on a water maker installation is the low pressure suction side on the boost pump being too long, which causes the boost pump to have to suck too much. The boost pump can push, it can push 50, 60 psi, that's not a problem, but it doesn't like to suck. So we like to keep that suction side of the boost pump run down to a minimum. 10 feet would be under 10 feet or less would be ideal. You can get away with up to 15 feet. I would put that as a maximum before you need to upsize the hose and look at uh, reconfiguring some things. So what is that suction side of the boost pump? Well, this is in it, and that's often overlooked. You think the boost pump goes to the pre-filters. Well, it does, but these valves are in between. So if you're putting the boost pump way down in the bilge, this way up inside a, a locker up top or on a fly bridge, it's going to go from the through hole up to these two valves, then back down again to the boost pump. So the other thing to think about is these two three gray, three, two three-way gray valves. We mounted them here on the activated carbon filter as a matter of convenience for a place to put them. There's absolutely no reason you couldn't put this active ar activated carbon filter somewhere on the boat. This is just a half inch chase nipple connecting them together. In your spare baggie of parts, you have fittings that are half inch NPT mail on one side, half inch push to connect on the other. You could replace this gray half, uh, black half inch nipple with a stick of green line. So you can remote mount these two gray three-way valves somewhere more convenient where you want to access them for fresh water flushing and pickling while putting this in another location. So that's something to think about too during that mounting process. Uh, it does need to be mounted so that it stands vertical because the activated carbon filter inside needs to stand up in the center of the filter housing when you're installing it. You'll also need about three inches of room between the bottom of the bowl and whatever substrate surface you have on the bottom because when you go to undo this to change the filter it's going to need to drop down about three inches and unless you're a lot better than me you're going to spill a little bit of water every time you go to change that activated carbon filter which is every six months. Every six months you're going to be putting in a new activated carbon filter because any chlorine that gets into your system from your tanks, if you have taken on dock water, that can damage and destroy the RO membrane. So it's always important to have a fresh activated carbon filter in place. And how do you know when your activated carbon filter is used up and is going to let chlorine through? You really don't. There isn't a chlorine measuring device or another way to find out other than you've destroyed the membrane. So you always want to, every six months, put a new activated carbon filter in. It's a $10 filter. Always use a quality carbon block filter. Don't use a paper filter that's just impregnated with activated carbon dust. Those don't have as near as good chlorine capture capability as a solid activated carbon block. They're available anywhere. We sell them for 10 bucks. They're available off the shelf in lots of places as well. So this is module four, the valving and cleaning assembly. And it's gonna go between the boost pump suction and your raw water strainer coming right after the through hole.